Okay, thank you for taking the time to hear about this short webinar all about the Market Schools Council and it shouldn't take longer than any than five minutes. Um, my name is Kieran Pearce and I'm a teacher at a special school, Marketfield, in Colchester. What we will cover um, today is what the Market School Council actually is, the reasons to be involved and the progress so far um, and what it means to actually be part of the Market Schools Council. If you are interested in joining the council then I will give you all the details at the end. So the council came about after a school council meeting at Marketfield School where the children felt that they needed to raise more awareness about special educational needs and what it meant to actually have um, SEN. And in answer to this, the children decided they needed to involve local schools and create a multi-schools council. They felt a good way to start uh, breaking down perceptions was through sport initially, um, but then reaching into the rest of education. Since 2012, we've made fantastic progress and we now work in collaboration with Essex County Council who provide the opportunity for young people to have their voices heard at a higher level. And neighbouring counties have also started to take on this model and we feel really, really passionate about breaking down perceptions around all children with SEND. So we have three meetings across the academic year and these happen once a term. The idea of these meetings is so that children can come along from their respective schools and discuss ideas on how to break down perceptions. You can see a list of um, projects that we've been involved with um, and the children will be voting on a new range of key topics that will be decided by them on what they think most affects them right now within education. We have had some fantastic um, projects such as mental health um, ambassador training where children came along from a range of schools and have now become mental health ambassadors within their own schools. We've also recently held an art project where children um, from different schools worked together, so they visited each other and designed art pieces that went on exhibition. Um, and we have also um, had an anti-bullying event this year where schools, again, all across Essex came to Chelmsford and um, participated in workshops where they could develop kind of anti-bullying um, skills and again can take that back into their schools and have an impact within their own schools. So what happens at a meeting? So the meetings, um, like I said, the children come along to and they discuss their own views and ideas. We also um, help develop the knowledge of children with um, special educational needs. This could be through um, through a film or through children talking, or even just through a tour around the schools. It's amazing what some of the um, perceptions that children have before entering a school, and actually to show them around a special needs school is really empowering. Um, it also just brings children together. The big reason why we started the Market Schools Council is that children at Marketfield felt that they couldn't really get into their communities and communicate with other children. Well, the Market Schools Council helps that to happen at meetings and through our other projects. So the meetings take place in the north of Essex, um, where we have two um, strands from September, Tendering and Colchester, and in mid Essex, uh, Chelmsford and Braintree, and in South Essex and West Essex, um, where eventually we hope to get enough schools that we can split into district um, areas, just like we started to do in the north and mid of the county. Okay, so why you should be involved? Well, we feel really, really strongly that there are still perceptions out there around children with special educational needs. And what the Market Schools Council does is it helps to break down these perceptions. So you can see um, from the PowerPoint that there are many perceptions such as around autism. Um, and um, one child has said to me before that they felt, thought they could catch autism and just coming to a Market School meeting made them realize that this was not the case. And it's just great to give children a voice at another level. So school councils should be, in my opinion, the heart of every school. But to be able to bring them along, contribute to Essex-wide objectives and Essex-wide um, ideas um, is really, really powerful for them. Um, and equally, the council tries to help break down negative perceptions towards children with SEND and mental health. Um, so they have identified mental health as a big um, issue currently within schools and they are really, really pushing that. So again, it's another reason why schools should come and join in. 
We've also recently um, visited a school and where we held a meeting and Ofsted were inspecting that school at the time and they really praised the Model Schools Council for giving the children the opportunity to participate in such a big group. So we've already achieved so much since 2012. Um, some of our standout events such as special school games run every year where children from um, special schools come along and compete in a wide range of sports so they don't often get the opportunity to do so. We have a head boy and a head girl every year who do a fantastic job for us and um, come along to extra events where they show around guests um, and they give um, speeches on what they feel is most important to them and to the council. We've written a book uh, which was sent to every primary school in Essex called Sound the Spider that looks to break down perceptions. Um, we've also held an inclusion week um, back towards the start of the Model Schools Council where children swapped schools and went and experienced another school environment, again, just to break down the perceptions of what a special school might be like. So as well as our meetings from September, um, we are also expanding the Model Schools Council. So myself will have a full-time role to make that happen and we'll also be expanding the time we spend with Essex County Council so that, uh, again, children's ideas can really be heard at a high level. So we have um, three main uh, kind of projects that we're looking to run. So we've got a mental health resilience program, which will be over six sessions and will help, um, again, make children more resilient, but also more aware of mental health. Um, an autism awareness training session, which has been designed by one of our ambassadors and she is autistic herself and is really keen to build understanding around autism. And also I can come in uh, like I have done in the past and deliver assemblies and lessons around special educational needs, what it actually means, in a hope that one day we can get that on the national curriculum. Essex County Council are also really keen to have the voices of young people in Essex heard. There are a number of projects where pupil voice is essential, such as the Essex local offer or the annual review process, for instance. We are looking to establish a pool of schools that can be contacted whenever the SEND teams at Essex County Council are seeking the voice of young people on a particular topic or issue. You will be able to accept or decline each invitation to participate as and when they arise. If you are interested in becoming part of this pool, then please email sendparticipation at essex.gov.uk. If you have any questions after watching this webinar um, and really want to get involved, you can see all the details on the screen. And um, we also have a website and a Facebook page where you can follow us and really keep a track of all the things that are happening with the Multi Schools Council. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen.